Britney Spears, aka the Princess of Pop, has had a successful career for decades now and in that time, she's amassed hundreds of millions in her bank account. Between selling 33 million albums in the US alone, her long-running Vegas residency, business ventures and more, the star has multiple sources of income. Britney hasn't been in control of her finances or her personal life for the most part since 2008 and is under a conservatorship, but it seems she still gets to live a lavish lifestyle. It's rumored that Britney spent 11 million in one year alone, but even so, she loves Walmart and Amazon just as much as your average person. In this video, we'll show you the 10 most insane ways Britney Spears spends her millions. At the time of this recording, Britney is 38 years old and is a singer, songwriter, dancer, and actress. Let's not forget she's also the mother of two. Plenty would consider her one of the most famous pop singers of our time, if not the most. I know she makes my list of favorites. I've been a Britney fan since I was like four, and I still am. Like I mentioned, she has multiple sources of income, and besides the obvious, she's had plenty of business ventures and product lines, including 20 or more perfumes, lingerie, and more. She appeared as a judge on The X Factor 2, and although it was only one year, it came with a paycheck of $15 million. Then there's Britney's Las Vegas residency that ran for four years and is one of the highest grossing of all time. She made something like 475 k per show, and it earned her about $66.5 million per year. Britney's countless years in the spotlight giving us her energy and working hard have helped her accumulate quite the fortune. Some say her current net worth is estimated at $50 million, while other sources report it's closer to $250 million. Either way, it's totally well deserved. What's going on guys, it's Kara and today I'm bringing you a list of the top 10 insane ways that Britney Spears spends her $250 million net worth. Although she has her conservatorship controlling her finances for the most part, she somehow still manages to treat herself pretty frequently. And it's not just the obvious like her gorgeous mansions or wardrobe on this list. Britney likes to spoil herself in some pretty interesting ways, but you'll see. As always, you gotta make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post videos so you never miss out. If you guys like this idea and want to see some more lists, let me know which celebs I should cover in the comments down below. We do other vids on this channel like house tours and of course I've done one on Britney's beautiful mansions and we'll have links to some at the end of this. Follow me on Instagram because I love connecting with you guys. Now let's get into this video. Starting with number 10 on our list, the first way that Brit spends her money is on her conservatorship. Since her breakdown in 2007, her financial decisions had to go through her father Jamie Spears and lawyer Andrew Wallet. But having someone as your guardians to watch over your spending in daily life isn't free. Britney was paying Pops 130k per year to do this, and the lawyer gets a paycheck too. Although Britney's dad Jamie was appointed co-conservator back in 2008, he's temporarily stepped aside due to his own health issues. He still helps with her finances. Andrew also resigned, but a professional conservator was hired for all the day-to-day -day stuff, and I'm sure they're not cheap either. Despite fans saying free Britney, many sources claim that she's totally fine with the situation and doesn't object. From what I can see and what I'm sure you'll notice after this list is Britney isn't on a tight leash with her spending anyways. Next up at number 9 has got to be Britney's Christmas lights and decoration. Just like me, it seems the pop star absolutely loves getting in the holiday spirit. So much that she spends thousands on decorating her home. Mind you, Brit always always lives in massive mansions, so I'm sure it's a lot of ground to cover. And good quality Christmas lights aren't cheap. We've seen on Instagram even this past Christmas how festive Britney's house gets, including her enormous Christmas tree in her great room, and lights all over the front of the mansion, over the door and windows, on every tree and hedge, just everywhere. We even know how much it cost Britney one year. She spent $3,400 on Christmas lights alone. Speaking of Britney's shopping habits, that brings us to the number 8 insane way she spends her millions, her home supplies and or shopping trips in general. And I'm not talking about the shopping you might expect from the star like for designer clothes and bags, Brit's a bit more down to earth. It turns out that Britney has a little bit of an addiction with shopping at stores like Target, Pottery Barn, Bed Bath & Beyond and the like. It was reported that the star spends about $66,000 a year on supplies from Target, Home Depot, Walmart, 7-Eleven, Amazon and the other few I mentioned. Britney makes trips to Target more than 8 dozen times per year, but I don't blame her. I too have a weakness for those stores. They have everything. It's rumored that Britney spends thousands, even somewhere around 5 k each time she has these home shopping sprees. Now for the number 7 insane way Britney spends her cash, her dogs. She loves her four-legged family and it's obvious 
Julia since she shows them off on Instagram all the time. Right now we know that Britney has a Maltese and a Yorkie pup and definitely spoils them. On average, Britney spends about 30k per year on pet care alone. Her pet care bill includes everything from grooming, pet sitting, having their nails cut, their fancy food, and more. Not only that, but Brittany loves to dress her little dogs up in cute outfits, so I'm sure she spends quite a bit on their clothes and accessories. I don't blame Brit for wanting her dogs to live the good life. I'm guilty of spoiling and obsessing over mine too. It would seem that Brittany takes care of everyone she loves, not only her dogs. Number 6 on our list of insane ways she spends her millions is on family support. In one year, she spent 38000 on what was called family support. That bill included sending plane tickets to her family members to come visit, which Britney often does, as well as the allowance she gives to her mom, Lynn Spears, of $500 per week. And this bill doesn't include the money that Britney was paying her dad for the conservatorship of over $130,000, where she also takes care of any business expenses and rent he has. Finally, we know Britney has two sons, and the bill she has for them seems to top the rest. Between child care and child support to the children's father, Kevin Federline, Brittany spent 409k in one year alone. Also, whatever happened to K-Fed? At least with all of Brittany's taking care of everyone else, she still makes time for herself. Halfway through our list and next up at number 5 is the money she spends on her self care and unwinding. We know that Brittany loves going to the spa whether it's for manicures, massages or both. She finds nothing more relaxing than a massage though and I'm sure while she was doing her Vegas residency every night, she needed to get them done even more often. It was reported that in one year Brittany spent over 120 k on just massages alone, which doesn't even include other self pampering. Now for the number 4 insane way that Miss Spears spends her millions has gotta be her staff, which costs the star hundreds of thousands per year. Britney has hired a few people around her to help her in her daily life, but we know she can afford it, so why not? First up, there's Britney's personal assistant who helps keep her crazy schedule in order, and it's rumored that she spends over 100 k per year on her assistant. We also know that Britney puts in the work to stay fit and has been doing a lot of exercise in her spare time. Every mansion she calls home has gotta have a fitness center, and it seems like Britney works out at her home gym and outside. Another big expense for the pop star is her personal trainer, Tony Martinez. Although she's only with him for 3-4 to four times per week, celebrity trainers can cost up to $100,000. Although Britney's home most of the time, she keeps a nanny around. Having a good celebrity nanny on hand could cost her anywhere between 100 k to 200 k per year. And finally, although he might not be the type of staff you're thinking, Britney also has a chief advocate on payroll to protect her assets, even from people she trusts. Britney paid out 2 mil to have court appointed Samuel Ingham III to make sure her conservators don't rob her or abuse their power. That's a pretty big chunk of cash. Next up, the number 3 way Britney spends her money is on her beauty expenses. In one year, she's likely to spend close to 40 k on hair and makeup alone. This is probably for both products and services, and we know that a trip to the hair salon can be pretty pricey, so I can't say I'm surprised. In 2013, when the files were released for Britney's spending habits, they even broke things down. It appeared the star spent around 35000 on makeup and another 4500 on grooming and getting her nails done. Apparently the Four Seasons is Brit's fave place to get a nice mani-pedi. We're getting close to the end of our list now and number 2 is definitely Britney's luxury vacations. We know the woman spends thousands every year on trips and posts herself going away a lot. Britney's a big fan of Hawaii because who wouldn't be? And she takes her family there a few times each year. Must be nice. She loves tropical destinations and it seems like every couple months she's visiting a new one. Britney also likes to do short trips like taking her kids to Disneyland. It's reported that the star spends a massive 70k per year on travel alone, which includes private transport to and from wherever she's going as well as luxurious hotels. Britney's travel expenses also showed a $16,000 four night stay at the Beverly Hills Montage Hotel. Must have been some room. Finally, we've made it to the end of the list. The number one insane way Britney spends her $250 million is on her mansions. It's no doubt that Britney likes to live in style and has owned multiple million dollar estates over the span of her career, each one nicer than the next. She's known for her many real estate investments including the family home she bought for her mom in her hometown of Kentwood, Louisiana. The current mansion that Britt calls home is in the neighborhood of Thousand Oaks, Los Angeles. We did a house tour on it like I mentioned and let me tell you the place is beautiful. 
Britney bought this home for $7.4 million back in 2015 and everything about it is grand, including the fact that it sits on 21 acres of land and spans over 12,000 square feet inside. Britney's mansion is nothing short of lavish, but she worked hard all these years and deserves it. Not only did the mansion itself cost her money, it's reported that Brit spends an additional 62 k per year on household expenses, which doesn't even include things like furniture. So there you have it, the top 10 insane ways pop princess Britney Spears spends her millions. With a net worth like that, I'm surprised she isn't spending even more. Then again, we know she does have some help from her conservator with money management, but they clearly don't care how much the star spends at Target. It's pretty clear that Britney spends the most money on things like taking care of her family as well as having a full staff around at all times, rather than material items like Birkin bags. By looking at this list, Britney prefers to spoil herself with things like travel and self-care, and I think that's pretty cool. It's smart to invest in experiences. Not to mention her biggest purchases of all are her homes. I mean when you're spending so much time there you do need to love the place. Personally, I think Britney's mansion is gorgeous and looking at her properties the star has great taste. But I want to hear from you guys. What was your favorite thing that Britney spends her cash on? Was there anything that surprised you? Let me know what other celeb lists you'd like to see and if you like these videos. Make sure you're subscribed. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat more and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!